Hey, and welcome back. Now that our project is up and running, and we had a look at the, some of the different tonal things, some of the different methods, uh, I think we should get started on building a user interface. So first of all, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna close down this. Let me just delete this one first and comment this line out. Uh, save this, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna close my package JSON and my styles. I'm gonna keep that open. I'm also gonna close the index.js because we're not gonna be using that for setting up the user interface so far. Uh, but back in my index.html file, I will delete my h1. And then we have a blank slate that we can start on. So the first thing I want to make is a div, and I'm gonna give that a class of controls. And this is where we're going to place the different controls where you can choose the starting note and where you can choose the octave that you want to play the chord from. Uh, inside this one, uh, let's start by making a label. And let's make it for start note. Oops. And let's just write start note here. And then we're going to make a select. And let's give that a name of start node 2. And also, let's just give it a, the same ID. OK, so inside this select, we need some different options. Um, right now, we don't really uh, have a cool way of populating this. So let's just add some dummy. Um, I'm just gonna, let's just see. D, just some different note names, just so we can see that it actually works. I'm just gonna copy this. C, D, E, F, and so on. G, and then A. Just so we have something to look at. And I'm going to save this and see what happens. And actually, it works right away. You can uh, you get the start node selector here, and you can select the start node you want to you want to use. So that's pretty cool. We need another control though. We need the octave, and that's going to be a select drop down as well. So after this select, I'm going to make a label. And that will be for octave. And in here I'll say octave. I'm gonna do a space here. This will look better. I'm gonna add a space here as well. And then another select. And let's skip that octave as the name as well, and octave as the ID like this, and we're going to add a couple of options. Option one will be octave, octave number one, and option two will be number two, and option number three will be option three. I'm going to save that and see what happens. We can see it uh, is added here in the browser, and I can select option one, two, or three in the octave dropdown. The next thing we're going to need is a place where we can display the notes of the chord. So after this div, I'm going to create another div. And I'm going to give this a class of chord notes. Yep. And inside this, I will, for the time being, I will, uh, I'm just going to make a a paragraph just with some dummy notes. So this is, let's say, C, C3, um, D3, E3, F sharp 3, and A3. Just so we have something we can look at. I'm going to save that. See, it's right here. Um, I Let's also add the buttons underneath this. So after this div, I'm going to open up another div. It's going to have a class of buttons. 
And inside this, we're just going to add a couple of buttons. So button number one will be, let's just call it a major. And minor, just a few chords that we can uh, play around with. Diminished. And let's augment it. Yeah, that should be enough for now. I'm going to save this and I can see here in my browser. Let me just zoom in on it so it's easier for you to see. Um, it works. We have, um, we have a selector for the start node. We have a selector for the octave and we have um, a text field or a paragraph where you can see the notes in the chord. And then we have some buttons that uh, when you click these buttons, what we're going to see in the future is that these notes are going to change. You're going to get the notes off the, off the chord in, in this key and in this octave. And you'll also be able to hear, hear it play, play the chord. It doesn't look very good right now. So let's add some styles to this. I'm going to go to my style sheet and let me just make some basic styles uh, for the body. And let's add a font family. You can use it whatever font you like. I like Lotto. And let's fall back to a song. Sheriff. Why do I do that all the time? Like this. And you can see already now they, they change. We're gonna, gonna give it a color of white. And a background of something that looks good 24 24 24 well, that usually looks pretty good I'm gonna save that and you can see it takes effect that's good for now um, the controls we have a div called controls and let's add some styles for that first of all I want to display it as flex and it's pretty easy to make it look good and I want to center this so justify content center so now it's centered let's target the control select and let's just give it a margin of 0 and 10 pixels just to make it look a little bit better, easier to read. Okay. Um, let's talk about the chord notes. So that would be this div here. Let's see if we can style that and make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to go back to my styles and I'm going to target this class. Chord notes. And I want to display that as flex as well. And let's center this. Justify content center. Oops. And let's give it a bigger font size. Uh, let's say 1.5 EMs. Oh, that looks good already. It's centered, it's bigger, it's easier to see. And let's do the buttons too so so what we're targeting right now gotta put this on here is the is this dip right here and let's display that as flex too and let's make it uh, let's make them wrap so flex wrap that's going to be a rep like this. Oops. And let's give it a width of 100%. Save that. Let's style the buttons. So the individual buttons will, let's set flex, grow, 
to one. And let's give it a minimum width, let's say 200 pixels. Let's give them a height of, let's say, 50 pixels. Mm -hmm. They're bigger and better. And a font size of 1 EM, just to give them the same size as the the font size up here looks better uh, let's give it a, a color let's give it a background color uh, I like the color teal I don't know why it goes well with everything <laughs> um, and let's remove the border that looks even better now and Let's change the text color to white. And let's just give them a margin of, let's say, 10 pixels to space them out a little bit. That looks pretty good. So now we have the basic setup, the basic design. And this is totally zoomed in. So if I zoom out to 100%, it will look like this instead, which probably looks better. But this is easier for you to see. And as you can see, if we uh, make it wider, all of these buttons will adapt to uh, showing it in the best possible way. But let me add a few more things to the index file. I forgot that I also want to add uh, down here in the court notes div. I would like to add another paragraph for the intervals. So I'm going to make another paragraph. I'm going to give it a class name and Let's call it intervals in in court, just like this. And this one, I'm going to give this a class name as well. Let's call it notes in court. OK, we don't have any content here now, so let's just uh, I'm just going to type out something perfect first and major third and perfect five and let's say it's a major seven it doesn't fit at all with the other one but it, that's not the point here we just want to have a look at this and then let's push this one down to its own line and uh, we can do that by going back to the style sheet and here in court notes let's tell it what direction we want it to be we want to use uh, row oh sorry column because that will push it down on its own line instead of using flex justify content we will use align items and i'm going to save that so now everything is centered right here well let's just add a little bit so chord notes and i want to target the, the paragraph Let's just give it a margin of 10 pixels, zero, just to bring it together a little bit. We have the basic layout now, and we will get many more buttons, one for every single chord in the universe. But you're going to have to wait until the next video for that. See you there.